Okay, ready? Ready when you are, JP. Thank you for tuning in for yet another episode of Another Smash Podcast. I'm your host, JP. And I'm Dave. And together we're bringing you all the latest news of the upcoming Super Smash Bros. game. Starting off with the picks of the day. Okay, I don't even have the webpage open. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing, JP? <laughs> we're so unorganized. <laughs> okay. Um, so here is yesterday's pick of the day. This is the final destination version of Jeridu Valley. No more surprise visits from Koon and Kataka. Uh, however you say those. Witches? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and the bridge is gone. There are no distractions and there's nowhere to run. And the score that plays in the background is Jeridu Valley. Well, of course, the score that plays in the background is going to be the freaking yeah. <laughs> level name. Um, what's interesting is he goes on to say in his comments, you can make most stages turn into a final destination. Depending on the stage, it might be floating in midair or perched on a cliff. And we saw some of those in the um, Smash Direct. Um, yeah. There was one of Galaxy. There was one of... Um, yeah. We, we actually saw this one in, in the Gerudo Valley, didn't we? Yeah, I think we actually saw this in the Direct. <laughs> so, oh, man, man, we didn't see any 3DS ones in the Direct, I don't think. Oh, we, we didn't. We only saw them on the Wii U, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. But what's interesting is he says you can make most stages. So is that a hint towards stage builder or something like that? No, it would be... Uh... Or is he just saying, I can make any of them? <laughs> nah, I, I think he's just meaning you can choose. Okay, you can so choose. you don't think there's a hidden meaning? Nah, I don't think there's a <laughs> hidden meaning there, JP. That's not always a hidden meaning. It's just... Oh, um. Stage builder, please come back! <laughs> <laughs> it could still come back. Yeah. I think that's about it for that picture. Yeah, nothing nothing I, too exciting about it. Yeah, that doesn't really... <laughs> I don't know, it does look cool, and it'll be nice to hear the Jerudu Valley theme in the background. Anyway, um, going back to... Not last Wednesday, because that was the Smash Direct. Going back to last Thursday, the pick of the day, um, Samus and Zero Suit Samus, how will she match up with her new jet boots and... There's nothing, there's nothing much else to this picture. It's just showing that yeah. the two characters are now split up and um, Zero Suit has jet boots. <laughs> I don't know what else to add to that, JP. Yeah, I know. It's kind of stuff we already talked about in our last week's podcast, yeah. actually. So it's nothing really new there, but it, it is kind of a nice pick. I'll give it that. Um, is that... Yeah, it is the punch-out stage also. I thought it was like a new stage. No, nah, that's the boxing room. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. Pick of the day. Your character starts a smash run as a relatively ordinary fighter. But before the game, you can outfit yourself with certain items that can help you... Help power you up early, which will give you a big advantage later on. These items are much like the powers you find in Kid Icarus Uprising. Now, I'm wondering why he even covered this. I, I don't know. The, the last yeah. week's pick, picks of the day have kind of just been recapping the Smash yeah. Bros. Direct for anyone that missed it. But, like, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't understand that. I mean, I really don't know the point of these pick up the days, but, yeah, they are kind of. Uh, I don't want to, because the direct was awesome and what he showed was amazing. And yeah, yeah, I don't want to downplay this. I love Smash Run, and it looks like it's going to be something that will keep me playing on the 3DS even when the Wii U is out. Yeah, fair cool. The yeah. the power ups there are they actually from the Kid Icarus game or are they just similar to it? I didn't play much of um, yeah. Uprising. A lot of them are very similar to the Kid Icarus. I'm also seeing a bit of Kirby Air Ride influence there too i think i think the power-ups will all be from different series moving on to the next picture um pick of the day here's a very very new fighter in the upcoming smash games greninja greninja's sophisticated moves are extremely fun to use once you get used to how it controls and if 
you click to expand, like to view the oldest comments, Sakurai also added um, another picture there showing off Greninja's side special, which is um, uh, the attack Shadow Sneak from the games. It's a ghost side move. The side special attack Shadow Sneak is a move that makes Greninja suddenly disappear and ambush opponents. So I'm I'm picturing like um, Meta Knight's down yeah. B special. Yep. It's Be a sim- lot like Lucario's too, isn't it? Uh, no, no, that's like a that's more like a counter attack. It's double team or something. Yeah, double team. Yeah. Um, if you press and hold the button, Greninja will move a greater distance. Another unique feature is you can move Greninja around freely while charging it up. So that's an interesting one, being able to move mm. around freely and charge up something like that. I think Greninja actually looks like a potential character for me in a way. I really like his water-based attacks, and yeah. he kind of looks cool, but at the same time, I don't know enough about him. Yeah, I'm not as excited as I am for the other five for Greninja. And that's that's all there is for the picks of the day um, yeah. for, for the week. <laughs> we got through those pretty quickly, actually, because yeah. there wasn't... Hopefully we'll get some more good picks. I don't think it will show us any veterans this month because he's shown us like five in the last week. So yeah, I think he'll kind of keep tight-lipped and probably the next one will be Meta Knight next month. You reckon Meta Knight just for the Kirby release? Yeah, because of the Kirby release in Europe and America. Yeah. Moving on from the picks, uh, JP, you wanted to do a quick run-through of the veterans and their chances of coming back. So each of us have made our fair share of rosters, JP, and with each one we keep adding some of these veterans in and then taking them out and then putting them back in because of all the little things that get announced. If a stage gets announced or an assist trophy, it makes a certain character more likely. Or there was a recent interview which made a Snake less likely and just things like that. There's still a lot of veterans to actually announce. Makes me wonder if they are cut or if they're going to be actually hitting characters like they have been in the past. Start with Meta Knight? Yep. I reckon Meta Knight is a guarantee, 100%. Yep. After the Smash Direct and we saw the Halberd stage returning, I think we're both on the same page with that one, JP. Meta Knight's yep. a shoe in Wario. Um... I don't mind Wario. I think he's pretty unique. He's he's got a funny move set. Um, yeah, I love his <laughs> move set actually. Yeah. Um, they could probably take out the bike though, or just. Oh, no, no, nah, leave the bike. Leave the bike. Okay, so you want to keep the bike? <laughs> I like the bike. I like the comedic value that Wario <laughs> brings to the Smash Bros. Yeah, series. Definitely. And I'd like to see him return, but at the same time, I'm easy either way. Well, actually, I think he was supposed to be in melee, actually, but he got cut due to time constraints. Oh, okay. So this is a guy that was... Well, there's, al- there's always rumours and things of, oh, they were meant to be in this game and then didn't get put in. Apparently, yeah. DDD was also meant to be in melee and didn't get... Oh, I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. Who knows what's the main thing? <laughs> yeah, who knows? Nobody knows. Ike, as much as it pains me to say this, I think he's cut. Yeah, I, th- I think we're both um, in agreement that he's getting cut for Krom, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, Ike was... He's my favourite Fire Emblem protagonist, actually, so it will be sad to see him go, but I think he's going to get cut for relevance. Yeah. Uh, well, I wouldn't mind if there were three Fire Emblem reps, but it seems... Oh, I would totally love that. There seems to be a pattern of, you know, Ike, I- yeah, Ike I'll... replaced Roy. Why, why didn't Roy get kept in? Ike replaced Roy, and now, you know, there's a new Fire Emblem game. You'd think that the um, main yeah. protagonist from that would take his place. Uh, I would like to see Ike in his buffed-up look if he does come back. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the picture from Radiant Dawn, but he's a lot more... Oh, I haven't. got no. more of a brute look to him. He was already... kind of got... It's like he's on steroids or he's got muscles. Oh, he was enough of a brute as it was. He was already on steroids, JP. He could swing that sword any which way and you'd just be destroying everything. Exactly. Uh, Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon. You can't have Smash Bros without Falcon. Totally. 
And with Samurai Goro as an assist, yeah, definitely back. Yeah, it's probably unlockable, and that's why it hasn't been revealed yet. I don't think we'd see another F Zero rep, only because there hasn't been an F Zero game in so long. So, but I think Captain Falcon will stay definitely. Yep. I think we can group these next two together, Ness and Lucas. I think Ness is likely to stay only because he was part of the original twelve. Yep. He's more likely over Lucas, who was only just added in in Brawl. Yeah, um, true. Does does Earthbound or the Mother series does does it deserve two reps, JP? Um, I don't know. There was a time where I actually grown to like Lucas, but then once again I dropped him because yeah. I found Ness more my favorite. Lucas is very cloney, isn't he? Yeah, he's very clone. There are a few different moves that Lucas has. But yeah, he's very much the same as Ness, except he has a bit of ice moves or something like that, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to throw it out there. I wouldn't mind if Luke, Lucas was replaced with Jeff, one of the other characters from Earthbound. And we've, okay. se- we've seen Jeff as an assist trophy before, but he doesn't seem Is to be... Is he the ass- one with the rockets? Yeah, he doesn't seem okay. to be an assist this time, though. So whether he's just been cut completely or... That's I, interesting. Actually. I don't know, JP. I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't mind Lucas getting cut for someone more unique yeah. or something like that. I mean, I'm going to hurt Mercury's feelings with this, but I think <laughs> Lucas will be cut. Uh, On to the Ice Climbers. Now, this is a tricky one because there's been a lot of talk, not only in the Smash Bros community, but from Sakurai himself saying trying to get yeah. two characters to work together, stuff like that. And then even in the most recent Direct, he mentioned the frame rate issue and that only one, like only the playable characters were going to have um, 60 mm. frames per second, whereas any assist trophies or other characters would have 30 frames per second. Now, how would you have the, the one ice climber running in 60 frames and his body running in 30 frames? Because... The body isn't playable. Um, I shouldn't say body. What's his? What's the names? Nana, Nana and Popo. Nana and Popo. Which which one do you play? Popo you play as, and Nana. Yeah, um, you play you as can Popo. Actually choose which ice climber to play as. If can you, you? In Brawl, yeah. If you click on the eyes. Oh, I never knew you that. You can actually choose Nana. JP, I'm going to go do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew you could do that. No, that's yeah. not that. That's not that interesting. Anyway, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it depends if you want to play as a girl or a boy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so so the girl partner in most cases, um, yeah, yeah she, she, you you can't uh-huh. control her. So would she? She would probably run in thirty frames per second. So does that does that rule out the ice climbers? Well, they made Rosalina and Luma, which is kind of the same. It's a more advanced version of ice climbers. Yeah, that's okay. true. So that, it's a tough one, JP. Yeah, ice. I don't know. Is Rosalina Emma to soften the blow that he's cut ice climbers? I don't know. But I really want to see ice climbers back because I reckon they have a very unique move set. Oh yes, same here, and JP. I I'd, I'd love like to see my them return. Number five in brawl. Number five. I would put them as my number two or three. I I love the ice climbers. And um, yeah. Yeah, I really do hope they return. Yeah, totally. Uh, Falco and Wolf. What do you think, JP? I would prefer Star Fox had a nemesis more than a sidekick. That's my take on it. Yeah, I, I can <laughs> I can agree with that. Though Falco has been in since Melee, and Wolf yeah. was Wolf. Even though Falco's cloning enough, mm. they added in Wolf, which was. <laughs> <laughs> Another clone in Pro. Oh, I'd say Wolf is a little bit different to yeah, uh, Falco. If they cut Snake, then what I'm thinking is to compensate for that, Falco and Wolf should actually get some of Snake's moves. Like, I don't know, Wolf can use mines or something, and Falco can use a rocket launcher. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know. That's been suggested in conversations and I've actually liked that idea. Yeah. That if they got enough to actually separate, then yeah, I'd welcome back Falco and Wolf with open Both arms. of them. Okay. Yeah. And I like using Wolf actually and I like his taunts at the end where he goes, weaklings, bunch of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, uh, you're out of your game, Fox. Something like that. I love those quotes. Yeah, so they're, that's they're pretty good. My main reason for wanting Wolf back. The next one is another controversial one. Ganondorf. Do we do we think he's going to return as the Zelda villain, or would we see someone else? Would we see? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce. Is it Girahim? Yeah, yeah, I don't know how to Gira, pronounce it. Either. Would would we see Girahim? Would we see? Um, what are the what are the other ones? What was the most recent one in Link Between Worlds? Uh, Yuga was it? Yuga, yeah. yeah. Nah, definitely not Yuga. Not Yuga. Yeah, I don't see that happening. Do you think Girahim's a chance to replace Ganondorf, or do you think Ganondorf will stay? Have you played Skyward Sword? I played like half of it. Yeah. Do you want to spoil it? No, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> okay, I won't say. Um, Girahim. I really like his character. He's an awesome villain. But at the same time, I feel he's kind of limited in the Zelda universe. I mean, the Jewel Swords does open up a very unique moveset. Ganondorf really needs to use his sword. I think if they cut Ike, they can actually throw in a, a few of Ike's sword moves into Ganondorf's moveset. Yeah, they could. Because as, as we talked about, Krom isn't like yeah. a heavy sword user like Ike, Ganondorf could be the heavy sword user. Yeah, totally. 